Hey YouTube, it's Jarrell. Today is the day that most people celebrate the fact that the European settlers officially usurped this country from the Native Americans according to other Europeans that were across the pond that didn't own this nation either. But for me, it's my sister's birthday. Cause she was born on the 4th of July, freedom rings. Today I'm gonna record a uh, review for the first time, my first movie review, and I'm gonna review the movie Man of Steel. Man of Steel, as most of you know, is the retelling of the Superman story, which has been done plenty of times before, but I have to say that this one is really good job. Due to the gross advancements and uh, special effects technology that's happened in just the last couple of years, uh, it was they were really able to illustrate the godlike qualities of Superman and the Kryptonians that came to Earth and were affected by the radiations of our sun. And speaking of godlike, we're gonna talk about this Adonis that they cast for the part of Superman. Um, it's he 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 looks like God's Photoshop project, like I, I, you know. It, it, it's, it's unfair is what it is. One problem I really had with the movie was that, um, was all the collateral damage. I'm watching this movie going, damn. Smallville city planning already needed to repave them roads, but the taxpayers are already putting their money into it. I mean, Jesus. Oh. Damn, they took out the satellite. How the hell am I gonna watch True Blood this weekend? Jesus. It was like watching a Transformers film. There was so much just like destruction to the point to where it was distracting. Me and my, you know, sisters and, and uh, me, uh, my sister and my cousins watched a movie together and we were all commenting mostly on how much damage they were doing. And personally, I kind of felt like they did a bit of um, what I like to call gimmick casting. All the most of most of the stars, even some of the um, some of the just supporting bit part roles, were cast by very well established actors uh, that just kind of felt to me like they were just dropping names to pull in audiences, which you know is as a as a actor it kind of you know bums you out. It's like, well, how am I supposed to get there? if they don't ever cast me? And how are they gonna ever cast me if they won't always cast stars? The predicament that we all are in, the life that we've chosen, unfortunately. Um, I thought the movie overall was okay. Um, it wasn't the best thing you're ever gonna see. Uh, a lot of my nerd friends really didn't like it, but again, you know, that's for the people who've been reading the comic book series for the past hundred years, and ain't nobody got time for that. But if you are looking for a, you know, high fat pumping action film this is definitely the film for you um it's it's definitely full of that uh the storyline and not so much the acting is you know good for what it was um it's an okay film i mean i would recommend that you wait to dvd to come watch it because movie theater prices are too high hollywood tripping on that end again this is jarell and see you guys later